day two, and we're going to a little town called Tucker. Doesn't look to be much in the way of parking. Probably have to go around the back. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Why is it giving way to me? Am I, is it my right way? Okay. I think it was Sir Dizzy of Rascal that said, sweet like a nut, sweet like Tropicana. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hey, how are you? This is at the, uh, the John Henry Burger, named after the American folkloric hero, who was really good at hammering. I think, I mean, the, the owner could just be called John Henry, for all I know. But yeah, you get one hour to finish it. If you do so, it's on the house. If not, 30 bucks. Actually, I think it was like a week or two ago, we had a dude from Spain. Yeah? He, he came in. Did he have a beard? Someone. Yeah. You look a little bit like me? Kind of. Like a pound stretcher version of me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You wouldn't know what pound stretcher is anyway. Forget I said that. <laughs> um, and he, did he, he manage to finish it? Yeah, he finished it. Yeah? Yeah. The guy that I said looks like a pound stretcher version of me is called Joe Burger Challenge. You should look him up because he really does. It's like if you ordered me from wish.com. You couldn't finish this? No? When you were younger. <laughs> right, I'm, what, yeah, um, whenever you're ready. So one hour, if I finish it in one hour, it's free and I get a t-shirt. Okay, cool. Ah, what's up, Abby? Welcome back. I got a re petite video for you today, by which I mean, you know, it's a shade shorter than usual, but no less entertaining as a result. Although I, I, I can't really be objective, I'll let you be the, the judge of that. <laughs> and today we're at a place called Tucker in Georgia, which is just northeast of Atlanta, at a place called The Local Number Seven, taking on their John Henry Burger Challenge, which is, uh, is named after an American folkloric hero who apparently won some kind of hammering contest against a machine. I didn't really read into it that much, but um, yeah, my mum never told me that one when I was a, a kid. Still, you uh, you get one hour to finish seven half pound burger patties in addition to bacon, cheese, and fries. So it probably comes in at about four, four and a half pounds. Yeah. My name's Louie, I'm one of the owners. But, uh, Hi, Louie. Keep on going, man. <laughs> Thank you. And I hope for this is pretty generous. The patties in the middle are still pretty, pretty hot. They asked me what temperature burger I wanted, and I don't think I've ever been asked that question in my life before, so I just said, as it comes, I should probably have said tepid. Tepid would have would have been a good answer. Yeah, or cold, just for banter, you know? So you see how it turned up at the table. I think what it probably meant was, how do you want it cooking? You know, well done, medium, medium rare, and I just didn't catch on, but had I caught on, I think I would probably have gone with medium rare because these were a little stiff. They had a nice char grilled taste to them, but they were substantial. They were tough to get through. Oh. This thing needs some sauce. I would never normally add additional sauce, but this thing needs something on it. Sauce? What's going on? Have you lost your mind? Ketchup too, I don't even really like ketchup. But the odd thing about this, this burger challenge is that there's nothing really in there. Ordinarily, you would see, you know, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, something to accessorize the thing. If for no other reason than to just make it a little bit harder, take up more room in your stomach. Nobody ever saw a lettuce leaf and thought, oh, you know, that could do me in. But it does count, you know, it, it all takes up additional room in your gut. But uh, not here. Maybe they're just meat purists. I don't know. But um, because of that, you've only really got a cheese, a bacon, an egg on top. I mean, the eggs aren't particularly flavorful, so I, I just needed something to give it kind of a tangy or a fruity edge. Um, but yeah, maybe that's part of the challenge, I don't know. This is awkward, some fellow diners coming in. <laughs> oh, the look on that lady's face. Yeah, it never gets old. It's just a mixture of awe and judgment. All right, the burger's done. Just the fries now. Yeah, the reasonable portion of fries, no less. So I, I, I doff my cap to them for not loading up on the starch. And this is a pretty cool challenge, especially if you're a, a bit of a rookie because you get an hour, which is plenty of time. It's only like four or five pounds. And if you win, you don't just get a t-shirt. You can choose between a t-shirt, a cap, and a hoodie, which is pretty cool. And interestingly enough, it's only been done, I think, like two, three times. 
Quickest time was Joe Burger Challenge, who uh, did it, I think, in like 25 minutes. And his beard's nicer than mine, so I, I had to break that time. <laughs> so you need to wipe this thing down. Don't worry, I'll wipe it. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> I told you, you that, that's going to lose you money. You should make that like 20 minutes or something. <laughs> here, just finished the John Henry burger. This is embarrassing. It's seven patties, uh, seven pieces of cheese, seven pieces he's of bacon, a fried egg. I, I, just give me he's the getting this hoodie. Uh, he's all the way from England. Uh, everybody give Adam a round of applause. Oh, look at that. This is like an episode of Man V. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it, thank you. This is this is a railroad spike. A railroad spike. Because of the, the the legend of John Henry, right? Exactly. Congratulations. I've never, I don't think I'll get this through customs, but um, I'll try. <laughs>